My main question to everybody has been like, why do we love gangster films, right? Mm -hmm. And you must love gangster films too. Sure. So, in order not to act like other movies, write about other movies, how do you come up with another different way to write about a gangster film? Uh, it's an excellent question. I think the way we approached this was that we knew we were making a film about gangsters, but we were really making a film beneath that about this guy and his journey and how, how when you do something with dignity, but do it for people who are inglorious, does that make you complicit, right? Like, are you also guilty by association? We've seen films right. from the perspective no, of the gangsters a bunch of times. <laughs> and, you know, you go into a gangster film and you see okay. the gangsters getting fitted for suits or whatever, and there's the tailor in the background or whatever, and we thought, well, what about if we do this from the perspective of the guy that nobody ever hears from? And that was how we came up with the idea and what we feel like is the new angle on it that we tried to explore. Oh, no, it's so smart because he gets sucked into this thing and he has to do it. He has to make money, whether it's good guys and bad guys. And I love that it's all in one location. How did you pull off this arc film? Uh, the one location thing was something that came about kind of organically because when we explored the character, he never leaves the shop. He lives his life there. It is his whole world. And because it is his whole world, we felt like the challenge would be to how, to how could we enliven the world that he lives in as much as his interior life allows us to see inside of it, right? So. At the end of the day, there was some discussion about we could cut out here, we could go to the apartment of the Mabel who works in the shop. But if we're seeing it all through the eyes of the man whose shop it is, it felt inauthentic to break away from that. And it was also kind of a cool writing challenge to see if we could create the pressure cooker and keep the tension up the whole time without ever cutting away to anything else. So that was really kind of how it came about. Excellent writing and the way it's shot and everything. And Focus Features always has like the right production designers write everything to make it look time period correct. Was, was the influence of the Brooks Brothers at all? Because they've been around 200 years as a clothier. They must have had some of this past in their life. You know, Brooks Brothers is so uniquely American, right? It is absolutely an American um, incarnation of fine suiting. Um, and, uh, and our guy being from Savile Row, uh, I think what we wanted to do was kind of create this fish out of water this guy from England who lives in the States and how it is that he's adapting and competing and, you know, engaging with an emerging world. And so it's really that sort of old British style crashing against a very contemporary America that we wound up exploring from the from the suiting perspective, you know? It's really hip, very cool. Thanks, it's man. It's fucking happening. So great job. You wrote it with Graham, right? I did. I wrote it with Graham, the director, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. 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 So my homework paid off and... Uh, Man, I can't wait to see it tonight. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Good talking to you. Thank you. Good talking to you.